Welcome to Mill Valley. It is a small town, but we're happy here. Every time you go see a stand-up comedian, you're seeing material that's been honed and perfected, and, and none of that happens here tonight at Settlers. Like, it makes me feel like a really new comic again. That's the thing that gets me. I have the nerves and the excitement and the energy that I did in my first 50 gigs, where everything's unknown. You don't know what does and doesn't work. It's like, it's as pure as comedy can be, and you just have to go with the first thought that comes into your head. I like the fact you made the stage into an extreme comedy, like ultimate fighting thing. Welcome. It's horribly intimidating and frightening for the comedians. They're doing it because of uh, love for the art and the craft and that moment of creation, which is stunning. Why do we do this? I think it's that weird thing of because we can, because it's out there, because it's pushing the envelope. So nobody uh, here knows what's on their list, is that correct? I love that you just embrace the illogical. You fucking embrace. <laughs> is me next, right? Yeah, you're next. I was so completely calm until about 20 seconds ago. Will you welcome our next fearless set list? Mr. Matt Kershaw! And now the butterflies are just like, they're just going like crazy. Let's do this. <laughs> you ever, um, I wondered where homeless people get their dogs. <laughs> do, do they start off with them and then become homeless? Or do they recruit them like Batman found Robin? <laughs> you don't have anyone. I don't have anyone. You've got a secret identity. I hear voices. <laughs> Why don't you tag along with me? Why don't you and me, we can fight crime? Or just huddle together for warmth? Either of those. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you're in the middle of committing a crime and it's intercepted by some kind of superhero with a small boy that looks suspiciously like a dog on a string. <laughs> I'm not saying I know the exact identity, but I can narrow it down to one of a lot of unfortunate people. <laughs> I know, I shouldn't have suddenly brought it down to the reality of the situation. <laughs> Way to go, Matt, in a comedy show. Hey, let's think about misfortune. <laughs> Sorry to say what I just said, but I have a condition. <laughs> I have a condition whereby I think of something and I say it. <laughs> it's a condition that's shared by just me and every other comedian ever. <laughs> <laughs> the condition has more than one name. <laughs> oh God, there's so many ways to go and all of them are wrong. assumes Tourette's is people just like shouting out swear words. That's actually only a, like, a small proportion of Tourette's sufferers have that form. Most of them, they'll have little ticks or they'll have little things they mutter or sometimes just repeat the last word of a sentence back. You gotta be pissed off if that's the one you get. <laughs> if you're gonna have that condition, God, it's a shame to not have the fun one. You can't tell me that people who have Tourette's don't chuck in the occasional fuck when it wasn't the condition, are you? Because every disability has its upside. People with wheelchairs skip lines. You know, blind people touch things. Uh, it's got to be a pisser if you don't have the helpful Tourette's. You just get the one that's just kind of twitchy. I feel about life. <laughs> My jar of cyanide is half full. <laughs> Thanks a lot, you guys. Cheers. Thank you. God, that was fun. There are a couple of moments where I didn't know, like, I had no idea where I was going. I had no, they're just gripping around trying to find a foothold. That was amazing. Thank you.
so it was much. everything. It was just so fucking sweet, simple, and at the same time fucking wonderful. Oh, thank you. It was so, so fucking much. beautiful. It was yeah. wonderful. It's fearless. You're, you're kind of looking over into the void. Oh, I'm paying for the visually impaired.